Hi children, welcome to the physics class. In the last class we discussed about the different uh, characteristics of wave that is frequency, time period, then speed of the wave, frequency etc. And here now we discuss on what are the different types of wave. What are the different types of wave? And listen, when a sound is produced from a vibrating object, that is really a disturbance produced in the medium. Because sound produced due to the vibration. So, when a vibration occur, the particles present in the medium get disturbed. They move either in to and fro manner like this. They can move. The particle present in the medium can move forward and backward or the particle present in the medium can move up and down. So, in these two ways, the particles can either uh, move in forward and backward direction. This is to and fro, backward and forward or to and fro. Here, upward and downward direction. So, when a, uh, when a particle present in the medium vibrate in to and fro motion or it is possible for a particle present in the medium Vibrate in up and down direction. And here a wave is always moving in this direction. This is the moment of the wave. And here the particle can move either in up and down direction or in to and fro manner. So the direction of the uh, wave is from right uh, left to right. And the particles are moving also, that is, uh, they are also moving uh, what in the same direction. This is the mo this is the moment of the wave in this direction. Particles also move uh, forward and backward. That is also parallel. Okay. So this is the motion of the wave, and this is the particle present in the medium, in which uh, the direction of the movement of the particle present in the medium. So these two are parallel to one another. Is it clear children? A wave is moving from left to right. The particle are also moving to and fro. So these two directions are parallel to one another. This is the direction of the motion of the wave and this is the motion of the particle. So here this is motion of wave or movement of wave and this is the motion of particle. When these two are parallel to one another, we call these type of waves as longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave is a wave in which the particles present in the medium vibrates parallel to the direction in which the wave is moving. So that is called a longitudinal wave. So sound wave is a longitudinal wave because the sound waves are moving in this direction and particles present in the medium also move parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. Clear? So, we, we say that the sound waves are known as longitudinal wave or sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave because the, uh, the movement of the wave is parallel to the vibration of the particle. Okay, parallel to the vibration of the particle. And in another type of wave, particle, uh, the uh, wave is moving in this direction, but particle present in the medium move up and down, not to and fro, but up and down. So this is the this is the direction of the propagation of the wave, but the direction of motion of the particle present in the medium is perpendicular to the direction which the wave is moving. These type of waves are called transverse wave transverse wave so these two are the two types of wave transverse wave, transverse wave is also a disturbance in a medium in this uh, wave is moving in from left to right or in forward direction but the particle present in the medium move in upward direction upward and downward direction that is perpendicular so this is the direction of the movement of the wave this is the vibration of the particle in longitudinal wave this is the direction of the motion of the particle uh, this is the motion of the wave 
and particles are also moving in the direction parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. So, this is longitudinal but here the moment of the particle is right angles to the moment of the wave. So, here we call this as transverse wave and this is longitudinal wave. So, sound waves are termed as longitudinal wave because the vibration of the particles parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave but the radio waves then light waves are uh, classified into this type that is transverse wave because the particle vibrate perpendicular to the direction in which the wave is moving. So, these two are the two types of wave that is uh, longitudinal wave and transverse wave. So, this classification is on the basis of motion of the or the direction in which the wave is moving and the direction of the movement of the particles. If they are parallel, it is longitudinal. If they are perpendicular to one another, it is called a transverse wave. Okay, children. So, and uh, already we discussed all the um, characteristics of a wave in the last class. So, that is coming just after this portion. So, uh, but I, uh, I took the, or I uh, have taken the video of the characteristics of wave just before um, this section. No problem, you can read the characteristics of sound wave first. Then you can study uh, sound waves are longitudinal waves or you can study uh, uh, sound waves as longitudinal wave first. Then you can study the characteristics of sound wave. So this is, uh, this, uh, this is uh, what really um, helpful for to uh, understand the longitudinal wave because yeah, when you study about the characteristics, you will, uh, you can easily understand what is meant by longitudinal wave. What is the propagation of the wave? What is the motion of the particle? Everything you can uh, understand well uh, if you have studied the characteristics of wave at first. That is why I took that portion first and the longitudinal and transverse wave now. Okay. So, do one thing and rest of the portions up to the page number um, 100 and. Uh, 66 we completed and in the next class we uh, start from the page number 166 that is reflection of the sound okay and some applications are also coming after reflection of sound so that is um, this is all uh, this is all about uh, the characteristics of wave and the types of wave okay and uh, the remaining portion we can discuss in the next class. Okay, children. Thank you.